someone on social media asked the question, how can Moses and Elijah be there? They were already dead, speaking of a future time. And that's an easy one to answer. If you are reading the Bible, and we know that we as Christians believe in the resurrection first and foremost of Jesus Christ, and then after we too shall be like him, we too shall rise. Um, not difficult to understand how that's possible, number one. And number two, if you comb the Bible, you find certain hints about Moses, and Moses' death is certainly nothing, there is nothing normal about Moses. Um, when you watch what happens to him from not being led into the promised land for an act that, I don't know, did God overreact or not? I'm not going to make a judgment. That's not my business to say, <laughs> right? Uh, but certainly as you comb the Bible and you see that there's a wrestling over Moses' body, and then when we look in the New Testament, we see that there, is, um, there are other folks there gathered with Jesus on the mount. So um, a quick investigation of that kind of says, um, with God, first of all, all things are possible, but more importantly, I believe what the Bible says is true. I believe that we who faith and trust in Christ shall be resurrected just like him. That's why it's insanity for me when I talk to people about death and dying, and you see some people are so panicked about, well, well what, if, what if this and what if that? What if, what if we're destroyed by a nuclear war? Well, listen, if you know who God is and you know who his son Jesus Christ is, then you know where you're going and you have nothing to worry about. I mean, it may seem kind of strange and counterintuitive for people in the flesh. Well, how do I know? Well, uh, there's only one way to find out. It's called faith. Come to this house, magnify the Lord. Lift up holy hands, our hearts in one accord. Worship and bow down before him.